everybody, Kathy Appelt here. I wanted to pop in and just give a little love letter to libraries. Lately, libraries have become easy targets, it seems, in the fight over budgets. And it seems like our lawmakers, the people that are in charge, um, think that libraries are somehow unnecessary or not worthy. And so I just want to put my um, my voice out there on behalf of libraries. When I was when I was very young, growing up in Houston on the southeast southeast end of Houston, um, my biggest dream was to have a horse. I was one of those girls who just could not get enough of horses. But of course, here I was on the southeast end of Houston. Our family lived in a small house. Um, we didn't have a lot of money, and of course, as you know, horses take a lot of room and they take a lot of money. So, actually having a horse wasn't in the cards for me. But the next best thing to having a horse was reading about them. Lucky for me, my school librarian at Pearl Rucker Elementary knew all about my love for horses. And so every week when I went into the library there at Pearl Rucker, she would set aside a book for me that had horses in it. And so I read a lot of those books over and over. It was a small school library. But I really appreciated her care and attentiveness to me. And I know I wasn't the only child that she, you know, thought of and that she took care of. Later, when I was in junior high, I went to Dee Dee Junior High, which is near the Houston Ship Channel. And um, I used to have to ride the city bus to get there which meant that I got there fairly early. Me and my little club of neighborhood friends um, would often get there fairly early. And th the rule was that you couldn't go into the school building until the bell rang. And often we'd get there about an hour early and we just hung out on the concrete steps at the front door. Well, that was fine most of the time in Houston because the weather is relatively moderate and it usually wasn't a matter of you know, discomfort to be out there, but once in a while it'd be really cold. We'd have a really cold day. And to stand out on those concrete steps wasn't pleasant. And so the librarian, though, would come down and let us come into the library. She would open the doors and take us upstairs. And it was great because the library was on the second floor. And so the heat would rise and it was always toasty in there and cozy. And we would go in there and, and have almost a whole hour before school began. And and we could, um, we could read up there. And my friend Karen and I would browse through the, through the stacks and, and share books with each other. Well, um, a few years ago, I was all grown up by then, I, I spent the day at Sam Houston State University, which is about an hour away from me. And in between the road, is, in between my house and the university, is a, there's a small road sign that says Mustang Cemetery. And I had spent the day at Sam Houston with a group of librarians, including Dr. Terry Lissane, who is one of my great heroes. And um, so I was driving home and it was a sunny day and I was thinking about all the librarians in my life. The one at my elementary school who had set aside all the horse books for me and the one in my junior high school who had, who had let us come upstairs and be warm and toasty in that library. And then all the ones since, ever since, that have helped me with research, that have just been a friend um, to me through the years. And I was thinking about them as I was driving and also thinking about when I drove by that sign that said Mustang Cemetery, I remembered um, the horses that I love so much. And so when I got home, I, I decided to write a poem for all those librarians that have been in my life. And, um, and so it's, it's based a lot on myself. It's, it's in this book, uh, Just People. And, and I want to read it for all of you librarians and for um, all of you who love librarians and also all of you horse lovers. So here we go, it's called Javier. Javier, he was so cold that day. Only a thin t-shirt and old jeans 
to keep the icy air from rubbing his ribs raw. Only thin rubber soles between his feet and the cold concrete was still an hour before the bell rang. Mrs. Rivera, the librarian, she saw him. She couldn't look directly at his blue lips or his naked arms without shivering. But Mrs. Rivera, she could break the rules and let him in, led him into that warm room with its burnished tables, flame stitched chairs, toasted books, Javier. He had a quick notion of heaven. And when he found that book, someone left open to a page of Mustangs, wild and shaggy, ears back, free. Well, Javier, he burned that page into a place behind his sight and kept it there all morning, all through the day, always. And now, when you see Javier, wild and shaggy, Ears back, free. Look at that tall, proud boy. The icy air, the cold concrete, lost their grip. Javier, he's been to heaven. Mustangs are there. So there you go. My love song to all of you who are out there setting kids free. Free to dream, free to imagine free to live. Adios.